And we won't be able to cure her unless we want to do the entire Strangerville episode. And I don't think that we will be doing that. So we're going to have a permanent zombie, basically. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to have 100 babies. And Paris Sparks is just working with Seven to try and get her some milestones. And then we need to also try to age out Trinity because we are starting to get a full house. Alec is adopted, so he really doesn't count towards moving out and having more babies and neither does Selena. So we still have Clover, who's a child, Quinn, who's a child, and working on her mental skill. And then we have Sesto, who is a toddler. And of course, Seven the infant. We are pregnant and we have, oh, we're going to give birth very soon. So unfortunately, Sesto is nowhere near being able to age up. So we really need to get a move on for getting Ses not Sesto, Seven. Okay, so Seven needs to age up into a toddler when the new baby is born because that will be really hard. I did also do some renovations. So the house is a little bit bigger. I put the bathroom outside because I thought that made sense that this is a converted shed. And basically the door to the bathroom is outside. I had to get rid of some of the debug plants. Unfortunately, they were causing some pathing issues because some of them had a footprint that was blocking access to things inside the house just because the footprint was overlapping with the house. So I did get rid of some of those plants. We'll see how it looks when the snow melts. I'm not sure exactly if it will stay like this or if we'll change it a little bit. I want to have the overgrown look and the messy landscaping. But if the footprint makes it so the Sims can't walk around, then I can't really do anything about that. So we also did purchase a food stall. And the reason for that is that Trinity is going to be a master chef. So she's going to sell things in the food stall. And we did get a chicken coop uh, we sold the llama just because I wanted a cow instead. And then I want to get a horse because Trinity is a horse lover and we need to get her some satisfaction points. And she needs to have some kind of way to get rid of these whims that involve horses. So first thing that we're going to do is have Selena probably go and adopt a horse and don't mind those two they're fighting because unfortunately Trinity is mean and wants to make an enemy all right let's see if I can get credit for this a lot of times I try these whims and for some reason I won't get credit does it not okay I was about to say I I thought maybe it might not count if she's in the same household so now she wants to tease Clover well, Clover is asleep, so why don't you just get something to eat? For some reason, I just cannot adopt a horse unless I turn on the power. I, I don't get it. I have power. It's just for whatever reason, that will not work. Okay, we have Clover, who is fearful, independent, and a free spirit. We have a child named Clover, so we might have to rename this horse. Oh no, toxic mold. We got to clean that. Okay, we'll call the horse Pepper. Oh, Pepper is so cute. He's a Clydesdale. Now in this 100 baby challenge, we actually also do quests. So the quests can either earn us money or lose us money. And the quest for today is to just hire a nanny and we can purchase the satisfaction reward trait of free services. So that will be useful. And we had enough points for free services. Okay, it appears Jacob Volkov is our nanny. All right, let's start with something simple. We'll make a fruit salad so that we don't have a chance of starting a fire. If Alec will get out of the way. Okay, she wants to both be friendly with Clover and tease Clover. Okay, 
Oh, Mischief is teasing. Okay. And she wants to make another enemy. Wow, she's going to have a lot of enemies. And Clover's achieved her childhood aspiration. So she can actually age up now. She has high confidence. And she needs to be a mediator. And I think that her conflict resolution is pretty close to being in range. Okay, I did buy the mixer and a couple of other things. So let's see if we can actually get... A, I think this counts for cooking an excellent meal, even though we're just prepping ingredients. Oh, and you don't even have to stand there. You could just do something else. That's nice. Okay, prepping ingredients also counts as cooking an excellent meal. All right, Trinity wants to make another enemy. I wouldn't do these, but they are 100 satisfaction points, and she's just mean. Oh, look, it's Una. She decided to come over and say hi. Oh, no, Paris has gone into labor. Okay, let's feed the infant first. So Paris is having a baby. And it's a boy! So this one is going to be called Octavian. Oh no, we have twins. So we have a girl and her name is going to be Nina. So Paris and BJ had twins. That means we are full. We cannot get Paris pregnant until we age up Trinity. Okay, so Seven can roll over to her back now. That's good. She needs to get some sleep and then maybe we can do some selling. Okay, so we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 62% of 595 simoleons is only 369 for a total of 964 simoleons. Oh, and we're getting an earthquake or maybe volcanic bomb. Probably volcanic bomb. I see flashing lights. Okay, hopefully no fires. I can't believe he stayed tending the table. Usually Sims will drop tending the table for any reason. It looks like the pies make the most money. If you make just regular food, it doesn't seem to make a lot of money. So make pies and baked goods. Even though that they're under the cooking category, they seem to make a lot more money. And Trinity was promoted. Okay, we have to wait until everyone comes back home from school. But today's quest is to open the vet clinic for eight hours, which we have. We just have to open it. I completely forgot we have two babies at home. So basically, we can't go to the vet clinic. I had to hire an employee and we have to keep it open until 11 p.m. No matter how much money we lose. Oh, actually, Trinity can graduate early. She's an A student. Well, while Paris is not pregnant, we'll get some werewolf sparring in. I think I just have to defeat two... Well, I just have to spar two more werewolves. It doesn't matter if we win. But we do have to defeat Greg, which is going to be a pain. Fire! Oh, no. Oh, what? Somebody started a fire over here. Yeah, I have the cursed lot trait. Uh, unfortunately, I think people can use my things out here. And someone may have tried to make some pancakes or waffles or something. Berry waffles. Who did that? It's not even someone in my household. That should not be possible. Oh, and actually someone made me a pizza too. They keep making me food. I need to take these things off of the stand and only use them when people in my household are going to use them. Oh, and Seven learned how to sit up all by herself. Good. Now all she has to do is learn pincer grasp and she really needs to sleep. Okay, we can close our vet clinic. Did we even make any money? Oh, we made 158 simoleons. Of course, we had to pay the wages of 90 simoleons, so we only really made 68. But still, that's not nothing and we were never there okay so we get to spin the winning wheel and we get only nine percent that's only 171 simoleons for a total of 2073 simoleons well the next quest we need to befriend the grim reaper 
Well, that's a problem. I don't think Paris knows him, even though she did briefly meet him when he came to take her mother. Oh, she does know him. And he's already her friend. When did you meet the Grim Reaper, Paris? I completely forgot. Um, I know that you met the Grim Reaper when... Well, actually, she didn't meet the Grim Reaper. She was only an infant. Okay, it looks like Octavian aged up. So we have two more infants. Octavian is going to be calm. And Nina is going to be wiggly. Great. Now we have three infants. All right, Seven has unlocked Pincer Grasp. So that basically means that we can age up Seven and only have two infants, which is still going to be rough. So I completely forgot to spin the winning wheel, but we got 96%, which is another 3,300 simoleons. For a total of 6,738 simoleons. Now, unfortunately, our quest for today is to feed a bizarre fruit to a sim and at least one household sim. So, yeah, that's not going to be good. Well, it is Clover's birthday. So we're going to say happy birthday to Clover, even though she's very angry. Okay, Clover is adventurous and a freegan. She wants to be the leader of the pack. Happy birthday, Clover. And we easily complete the first level of her aspiration. Oh, we have our first werewolf. Joy. Oh, Seven's going to stand up. And then we'll have a toddler and only two infants. Oh, no, we have toxic mold. I'm going to have to find that and fix it. Happy birthday, Seven. And Seven is a charmer. Now it's Sesto's turn. Happy birthday, Sesto. And Sesto is neat and an artistic prodigy. Oh, Asamu has passed away. I was wondering why everyone was getting a call. That's their grandfather because it's actually Paris's father. Okay, he sells bizarre fruit. So that should be easy enough. It's just who do we give it to? Well, it's under the mischief category. And I guess, Beckett, you are our outside of the household sim that is going to eat it. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of mean, Paris, but we had to do it. And now he's a little bit messed up. And he runs around with his head backwards. He looks like he's a broken doll. Okay, so basically we have to choose a household sim to give it to. Um, maybe Selena? Well, Selena, at least you're going to get some sleep. And this is going to completely restore her needs. And it's going to happen every night. I don't think it will really affect her too much. So we're just going to eat it. And we won't be able to cure her unless we want to do the entire Strangerville episode. And I don't think that we will be doing that. So we're going to have a permanent zombie, basically. Well, she's possessed for only three hours. And then she's basically going to be full needs. So... That's not that bad because her energy was completely gone. Oh no, my it, generator is on fire. Great, the generator is pretty expensive. How did that happen? Did someone press the danger button? Okay, the fire is out. Thank you. 329 simoleons for an insurance payment. That is just ridiculous. The thing costs 1465 to replace. Why is the insurance so much lower than what the actual cost of the item is? 
Oh, and not to mention my light also is 90 simoleons. All right, so everyone's asleep and we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get 91%, which is another 4,441 simoleons for a total of 9,321 simoleons. And the next quest we have to do is to play the pipe organ for tips and earn at least 200 simoleons. Now, this usually doesn't go very well, but this time I have a lot of teenagers and I think even the children can play the pipe organ. So we might be good here. Okay, she's now possessed again. All right, so yeah, between the hours of like 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., Selena is not going to be controllable, which yeah that's that's just how it goes so this is a nightclub that i downloaded off of the gallery and we have 10,096 simoleons so we need to have 10,296 simoleons before the day is over and who is buying something someone bought something for f oh that's right i'm filling the cat feeder so it's only 10,256 now because we actually have all of the animals down here so that we have to take care of them. Because if you leave them at home, their needs just go up randomly. And that's not really what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to take care of them all of the time. Okay, I got 82 simoleons from Alec coming home from work. So I'll have to subtract that. And then, of course, they keep spending my money... Okay, I don't like it when they have to come to a bar because unfortunately that means they buy drinks. Well, there's less than two hours left and I don't think there's any way that we can make it. But since I got rid of the DJ, it seems like I'm getting a lot more tips because everyone was crowded around this tiny little corner with the DJ. I should have probably gotten rid of that DJ booth in the beginning because it seemed like he would attract everyone. I know it's a nightclub, but this is a special kind of nightclub. It's for vampires and we only need like 25 more simoleons now. Come on, one more tip. One more tip and we make it. And there's 10,327 simoleons. Or 31. Okay, that's it. We're going home. Forget all this. Well, that's the end of the day and we get to spin the winning wheel. And we get only 28% for another 2,901 simoleons. And that's a total of 13,262 simoleons. The next one is the bugging quest. Basically, we, we have to buy one of those listening stations and bug a vampire, a werewolf, a spellcaster, and an alien. We really don't have anywhere inside for the listening station. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick to that requirement if it's something that I need for a quest because that's kind of difficult since I am in a tiny home. I guess we could temporarily put the piano in storage. Well, Dylan is our first victim. Okay, Lilith Vitor is our vampire. Let's see if that works. And I figured it was someone with the last name Charm would be a spellcaster. And sure enough, Liz is a spellcaster. Okay, Selena can actually graduate early. Uh, but she can't because she needs to get the computer team member up and you don't have any clubs if you graduate early and that's lilith blackmailed for only 33 simoleons so come on now i feel bad about blackmailing liz since she's pregnant but i don't have time to find another spellcaster and olivia kim lewis is our other alien yeah i have all the original townies in my tray and i have my game set up to import sims from my tray instead of getting random ones so that's why she's an alien she's not normally an alien and that's the last one okay we get to spin the winning wheel and we get 73 percent which is another 10,092 simoleons for a total of 23,917 simoleons. Now, I know we're making a lot of money from these quests, but that's because I'm trying to do every one. 
And the reason is that when we have the teenagers move out, which they need to start moving out, we actually have to give them 20,000 simoleons each to take with them. So the next quest for today is just to plant a cow plant. And really, this one is not so much of a challenge because I know where to get a cow plant berry. In fact, I may already have one. Okay, I do not. But all we have to do is go to the grocery store because I have a grocery store in my game that has all of the rare plants. I'm not sure if that's cheating or not, but given that you have to graft one and get one or get one by fishing i think it might be permissible to do it that way this time we could always get it by fishing i guess well there goes clover okay actually clover doesn't need an a in school so happy birthday clover or quinn yes quinn because quinn is going to be irresponsible and quinn is a freegan and has the soulmate aspiration. So Quinn is actually supposed to join the drama club. And I went ahead and didn't join it as a child because it seems like I cannot get them to progress if they join as a child. So I'm going to just have him join as a teen. Neighborhood brawl. Well, that'll be fun. I think this also counts against conflict resolution. I hope so, because Trinity actually needs to lower her conflict resolution. Oh, Octavian learned to sit up all on his own. So here we are at Oasis Springs Park, and I guess we'll try to get one through fishing. And we already got our cow plant berry. Selena got one. So Alec needs to get level two mixology in order to advance in his part-time job. And I decided I really don't want a bar at my 100 baby challenge house. So he's going to learn by reading. Of course, everyone needs to use the bathroom and the bathroom is completely broken. Um, uh, oh no. So we're getting another werewolf. Clover is transforming yet again. So we get to spin the winning wheel today and we get 15%, 15 percent, 15 percent of 22,929 simoleons is 3,439 simoleons for a total of 26,368 simoleons. Now I'm just trying to get everyone to bed and actually everyone to get their stuff done for the night so that they can go to bed. But sometimes that's a little bit difficult because there are so many Sims. So it'll be nice if we can get some of these Sims out of the house. It's just going to take a little while. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.